My name is Roboman2000, and you are watching Roboman's Tech It Tutorials. This is episode number two. New stuff is new. I'm going to show you lots of new stuff today. We're going to build some things. I'm going to show you one new crafting recipe. New ores, new trees. I'm going to go back to that rubber tree, get some rubber. And uh, first I want to show you what I've done around here. I've expanded this area out, made myself a bed. Um, I've got some trees planted around. I've got a little hole dug over here. This is going to be my workshop area. I might expand it a little bit bigger though. I find that this size is a little small. Anyway, uh, I've got some trees. I'm going to need some wood from this new... Uh, that's not an axe. Wood for a new crafting recipe. Yeah, there's the getting wood again. I don't know how to get rid of that or to make it stay like my achievements reset every single time I enter and exit. That's a new tr okay. Uh, anyway, every time I exit the game, my achievements reset. So I I don't know what's going on. Oh, do I have any? Oh, I got cobblestone. Good. All right. So the reason I want the wood is for a new crafting recipe. Um, I need needs charcoal. So let's go grab some charcoal. One piece of charcoal. Oh, this is boring. There we go, one piece of charcoal. Okay, so you need charcoal and cobblestone. We're going to put the charcoal in the bottom corner here like that. And then fill the rest up with cobblestone. I'm not... And you get this covalent dust. This is the green stuff. It is the worst of all the covalent dusts. Um, and it is... Uh, I don't know if this is a shaping crafting recipe. Uh, I guess it's shapeless. Just one piece of cobblestone and eight pieces of... Or, sorry. One piece of charcoal and eight pieces of cobblestone. Anyway, we're going to take the covalent dust. And then we're going to take a stick. Stick in the center. Surround it with that dust. And here we go. We have a divining rod. This thing is the greatest thing you will ever want. It's from the equivalent exchange. And it, oh, it's nighttime. It's from the equivalent exchange mod, and it tells you the average EMC value of the stones in a 3x3 three three box. So if I click it on this stone, it will check this one, this one, this one, these nine, and then the same nine three layers deep. So it'll check the next nine and the next nine after that, and it will average out the EMC values. Now, if you don't know what an EMC value is, it's basically the value how hard it is to get a block. So things like um, grass is 1, uh, sapling is 32, is worth a lot, uh, wooden planks are 8, and wooden pieces are exactly eight, four times the wooden plank. Um, you've got things like uh, the detector track, the power track, look at that, 2048. If you want diamond, let's go find diamond here. Let's click it in here. Uh, diamond. Except I spelled diamond wrong. Right, diamond. Where's the diamond? There's the diamond. Diamond is worth 8,192 EMC. That's a lot of EMC. Okay. Um. Yeah, look at all this stuff we can make. Anyway, I'm going to go take that off. Whoops. Take that off for now. And we are going to, oh yeah, if you want to take the GUI on and off, it's you just hit the O button. Right. Okay, so I'm going to click it here. Boom. See, the divine suggests a value of 1, which means if I dig out the uh, 27 squares, the these 9, and the next 9, and the next 9 after that, there will only ever be dirt, or sand, or this stone. I won't find anything good. I'll go like this, 1. Now, let's, uh, let's take this copper ore. And let's place it a bit. 
I know there's a bunch of copper ore in there now. Take the divining rod and go like that. And oh, the value is around 16. This is copper ore. The copper ore isn't really worth anything, but the copper that you smelt out of it is worth, it's worth a pretty penny. Let's take my copper back. Okay, I got 11 copper. I am going to just smelt my copper. Uh, where is it? Take half of that. I'm going to smelt eight of it. Put the that in there, that in there. Don't really need the wheat. Uh, bone meal. And uh, the arrow. I don't want the sword anymore. Make myself a new sword. The other one is dying. Okay. Uh, well, it's nighttime, but uh, it's not too dangerous out anymore because. Oh, I need a new shovel. Uh, where is my stickies? New shovel. I don't need the hoe, don't need all that dirt. Put the dirt in there. Don't need the clay. Collected some clay for a uh, later experiment once we build our our lab. Hmm. Okay. I have found a nice little hole that way. So let's go that way. This hole is not nice. I don't like it. It's not deep enough. What is that light over there? Oh, we're gonna have to check that out. Lots of things you can build. Something around this island. There it is. Right there. You see that down there? That, my friend, is an underwater cave. I've actually never really been into some underwater caves, so... Uh, let's check it out. Alright, I'm just gonna get some air. We're gonna go down. Oh, shit. Oh, thank goodness. Okay, get some lights. Get some light. Wow. That was a little dangerous. Hey, copper. Okay, um... Let's let this settle. See, this is a weird thing. Uh, it happens in normal Minecraft as well. But these placed gravel blocks don't adhere to physics until physics is activated. See, now all the gravel blocks go. Gravel blocks go. Okay, I like the gravel holding that water at bay though. It's cave sound. Alright, I'm gonna mark that as my exit. More copper. I like. Okay, let's grab this copper. Did that one fall down? Oh, it fell. Right, let's, let's get down there. Ah, here's something new. Look at this. Here we go. This white stuff. Uh, it's useful for building. This is marble, and it's great for building. Your stone, your pickaxe cuts through it like nothing else. It's weaker, but it's stronger than cobblestone. Um, it's weaker than cobblestone to break, but it's stronger than cobblestone for explosive resistance. So it's great to build your house out of it. I'm going to build a lab out of it. I'm going to collect a crap load of this off camera. Oh, there's some more new stuff down there. Let's get down there. Iron. I need this iron. I don't have any iron yet. Iron. Okay, I'm going to grab this vein of or and I will be right back. Okay, I am back and we're getting down there. 
So I'm going to go like this. Oh, hey, here is some right here. Uh, okay, so this is Emerald. No, it's not Minecraft 1.3 Emerald. This is Tekkit Emerald. Um, I can't break this with my stone pick. I need an iron or better. And emeralds are great. They work just about... Uh, you can make tools out of them, swords and stuff. They work just about as good as uh, uh, diamond tools. The gems are much more common. But... Um, again, you need an iron pick, which I don't have. Oh, okay. Oh. There's a lot of emerald around here. You're a zombie, too. Alright, let's light this place up. Okay, that's pretty good. I'm going to block that off for now. Look at all this emerald. I wish I had a diamond pick. Or a, huh, an iron pick. Anyway, so there's the emerald. There's one, two, three, four-ish pieces of it. Um, it lasts just about as long as a diamond pick and works just about as fast as a diamond pick. But it's more common, so it's it's great. Those things are awesome. But the one problem thing, is, the one problem is, it will not break obsidian like a diamond pick will. All right. So here's another new thing. This is tin. I'm gonna take the tin. You can take the tin with your stone pick, or better. Tin comes in about similar deposits as uh, iron and copper. Iron, copper, and tin. You, If you find iron, you'll find copper and tin at the same levels. Um, you'll find tin all over the place, just like you'll find iron and copper all over the place. I want this copper. The gems come in groups of maybe two to four is the biggest I've seen. They're, you can find them all over, but um, the deeper you go, the more common they get, obviously. I want this iron. Okay, let's go find some more new stuff. Let's actually use my divine... Oh, crap. Oh, that was close. Alright, look at that. Look at all this tin. Oh, I love mining in tech. It there's things everywhere. Let's use my dividing rod to find something. Here's a blank wall. Let's safe this place up. Need more torches. Let's grab some torches. And I'm hungry. Oh, there's another new thing here. I'll explain about this. After the dividing rod demonstration. Where's that? That's a creeper. God damn it. Okay, so this is a blank wall. There's nothing here. You would ignore this in normal Minecraft. Let's uh let's let's use my divining rod. Oh. Value is around one. That means it really is a blank wall. There's there's nothing there. Let's try it over here. Oh, you still won. Now, the divining rod, being part of the equivalent exchange, will use up some of your coal. Um, it should use up some of your coal. I shouldn't even be able to use the divining rod without coal or another source of fuel in my inventory. There appears to be a bug, though, that it just works anyway. I'm going to check out this floor here. So one, one, over here, one. So I've just been using it indiscriminately. One. 
Creeper's gone. Okay. Anyway, let's, uh... Whoa, Creeper's right there. Alright. Let's, uh... This... Blue, green flecky thing. This is uranium. Now, uranium's great. It's extremely expensive. It's found everywhere in groups of one or two. It's very rare. Um, but uh, you can use it for things like nuclear reactors or... I guess that's all. I can't get it with my iron pick. I need a diamond pick. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Block that off. Okay, I am going to get some of this material. Not some of it. I'm going to get a lot of it. And I will be back. Meet you back at the surface. And we're going to build a machine. We're going to do a whole bunch of stuff. Build a workshop. Okay, I'm back. Just a little quick thing. I found something else new. This is exactly like the emerald. But it's red. It's ruby. Um, it works exactly like the emerald, though. Um, there's three different kinds. There's the emerald, the ruby, and a blue one, which is sapphire, or sapphire, or however you want to say it. Anyway, that's the little thing I wanted to talk to you about, so back to mining. Okay, another little side thing here. This is sapphire. That's it. Back to mining. Okay, I haven't finished mining down here yet, but uh, I have a fairly full inventory. I grabbed a crap load of marble because we're going to use marble for um, my laboratory. I'm um, going to need some sand for glass, but we can do that later. Um, these, this marble comes in deposits very large. I don't know if, if you can see this, but all this cleared space here, that was all marble. All of it. And the marble goes all the way back here. These deposits are huge. You'll never ever run out of marble, just like you'll never run out of cobblestone. I made a little path to get back up. I need to light this path up, otherwise I'm going to get creepered. And I want to go that way, uh, but it looks like it goes up. We're going to need more material. I'm going to come back here and look for redstone and the other... The other ores that are deeper in the ground. Uh, let's see what's over here. Nothing. Uh, nothing. Alright. Anyway, it's time to um, weasel my way back up. I'm going to have to get a better way to come down here. There are other things that we can do. We're going to need redstone for first before we do much of anything. Alright, let's get the hell back up. Ugh. Oh man, this is, this is taking a long time. Oh, I really need a better way. Oh, am I going to survive? I'll survive, yeah. No problem. Okay, let's uh, let's go back home. Meet you, home. Meet you back home. And I will start uh, doing some extra stuff. Okay, I am back. And as you can see, I've kind of expanded my garden a little bit. Still kind of sucky. But, um, well, we got some trees growing. That's good. That's good. Trees growing. We are going to need... What the, um, there's a lot more sounds in Tekken. I don't know what that is. Is there a mod that adds sounds? Like, there's, there's C. If I go over here to the beach... Yeah, you see, you can hear the waves on the beach. There's friggin' trees over here with, with birds in them. I don't know what's going on. This sounds just so much better in Tech It. Anyway, let's build some stuff. I'm going to... I've smelted some of my ore. Oh, there's the copper. Um, but I don't want to... You don't want to smelt too much of this stuff. We're going to build some cool things that will make smelting ore better easier and just generally more fun. I'm going to build a double chest here. Okay. So, 
this Siren Furnace is great and all, but there's, there's got to be a better alternative. I mean, there has to be, and luckily there is. So if you want a really good furnace, I want you to smelt 8 iron in your furnace. Take those 8 iron, I've got 13, but I'm going to take 8 and make a furnace out of iron. That's right, you get an iron furnace. Take that sucker, get rid of this old crappy furnace, plop her down, boom, a little bit of lag but we're okay. This is an iron furnace, it works exactly like the furnace, it is basically a furnace but better. It will, I'll show you, one ore in your regular furnace will smelt eight ore, one, sorry, one coal in your regular furnace will smelt eight ore in your uh, regular furnace. But in the iron furnace, it will smell 10. And it will do it 150, at 150% speed. So that's great. I need some more iron. Uh, I'm going to put the marble in the chest. Gravel. I don't really need the furnace anymore. So the iron furnace is good. I don't know how long I've been. Um, because of that large spat in the middle, so I might just end it at the iron furnace.